The vilayets Turkish pronunciation, Vila Jet of the Ottoman Empire were the first order administrative division, or provinces, of the later empire, introduced with the promulgation of the Vilayet Law Turkish, Teskil i Vilayet Nizamnamizi of 21 January 1867. The reform was part of the ongoing administrative reforms that were being enacted throughout the empire, and enshrined in the Imperial Edict of 1856. The reform was at first implemented experimentally in the Danube Vilayet, specially formed in 1864 and headed by the leading reformist Midhat Pasha. The reform was gradually implemented, and not until 1884 was it applied to the entirety of the empire's provinces. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The term vilayet is derived from the Arabic word wilaya or wilaya. While in Arabic, the word wilaya is used to denote a province or region or district without any specific administrative connotation, the Ottomans used it to denote a specific administrative division. <laughs> <laughs> administrative division The Ottoman Empire had already begun to modernize its administration and regularize its provinces in the 1840s, but the Vilayet law extended this to the entire Ottoman territory, with a regularized hierarchy of administrative units. The Vilayet, headed by a valley, was subdivided into sub provinces under a mute serif, further into districts under a kaimakam, and into communes under a mutter. The valley was the representative of the Sultan in the Vilayet and hence the supreme head of the administration. He was assisted by secretaries in charge of finances Defterdar, correspondence and archives Mektubki, dealings with foreigners, public works, agriculture and commerce, nominated by the respective ministers. Along with the Chief Justice Mufetis i Hukam i Suriya, these officials formed the Vilayet's Executive Council. In addition, there was an elected provincial council of four members, two Muslims and two non-Muslims. The governor of the Chi Sanjak, Merk Sanjak where the Vilayet's capital was located, deputized for the valley in the latter's absence. A similar structure was replicated in the lower hierarchical levels, with executive and advisory councils drawn from the local administrators and—following long-established practice—the heads of the various local religious communities. <laughs> Map Villiers of the Ottoman Empire circa 1900 Topic list equals 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 Villiers Sanjaks and autonomies C 1876 equals 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 Villiers Sanjaks and autonomies circa 1876 Topic Villiers and independent Sanjaks in 1917 Villiers and independent Sanjaks in 1917 Topic <laughs> Vassals and autonomies Topic <laughs> <laughs> Encyclopaedia Britannica on the late Ottoman administration For administrative purposes the immediate possessions of the Sultan are divided into vilayets provinces, which are again subdivided into sanjaks or mutesarifliks arrondissements, these into causes cantons, and the causes into nahis parishes or communes. A valley or governor-general, nominated by the Sultan, stands at the head of the vilayet, and on him are directly dependent the kaimakams, mutasarifs, deftardars and other administrators of the minor divisions. All these officials unite in their own persons the judicial and executive functions, under the law of the Villiers, which made its appearance in 1861, and purported, and was really intended by its framers, to confer on the provinces a large measure of self-government, in which both Muslims and non-Muslims should take part. It really, however, had the effect of centralizing the whole power of the country more absolutely than ever in the Sultan's hands, since the Vallis were wholly in his undisputed power, while the ex officio official members of the local councils secured a perpetual Muslim majority. <laughs> <laughs> Maps <laughs> <laughs 
Topic See also Provinces of Turkey Six Vilayes, the Armenian Vilayes of the Empire Vilayet Law <laughs>